Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I want to show you how to generate QR code using a very simple Python script. So before we begin, uh, I just want to quick explain what, what is a QR code. QR code stands for Quick Response Code. It's a two-dimensional version of the vertical line uh, stripe barcode that you see from retail packaging. Like, for example, if you buy a laptop or buy a mobile phone, outside the box, you should see the, the barcode. And QR code is basically is just a different type of barcode, except that it's in two-dimensional. So this is what a QR code is like. So it's a square, and inside the square, you have different uh, dots. And each of those dots uh, contain uh, different different information. For example, it, it can contain from uh, like image or text or anything, pretty much. If you use Facebook or uh, any type of messenger, usually, uh, like when you try to add a friend, and right now these days you can give someone your QR code. They can use an app and scan the QR code, and they'll automatically um add someone to your friend list. So basically, you can do a lot of things with a QR code. And let me close this. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a QR code using a Python script. And right here, uh, I have a demo.py script open. Before we can do anything, we need to install the library. So here, let's open uh, your command prompt. And here, uh, I already created my virtual environment. So let me just uh, change my drive to my environment. I'm going to add the radar environment first. And the library is called QR code. And to install the, the package, so we want to type pip install uh, QR code and square bracket. And inside the bracket, you want to type PIL, so which stands for pillow. And basically, uh, this library or this module, this pillow library is the wrapper. And if you don't know what Pillow library is. Pillow library is basically an image uh, manipulation library. But I'm not going to into too, too much detail since uh, the library is pretty uh, comp complex. But here's the the, uh, the command. So pip install QR code and square bracket and PIL and enter. Okay, now let's do a pip uh, list to see what package got installed. So here uh, from the QR code module, and we install a, a package called uh, color MA and pillow and and in the main module QR code right here. Now let's close the command prompt since we don't need that anymore. And here uh, I'm going to start by importing the QR code module. And to create a QR code image file, I mean literally you just need two lines of code. So here uh, I'm going to create a variable called QR, and from the QR code module, there's a method called make. And here you want to type the information when user scan the, the QR code image, what information do you want to display? So here, let's say I want to display a hello world when someone scanned the QR code. And this is the first line. And next, we can just save the, the QR variable. And here I'm going to call, uh, let's call the QR code file my qr.png and if, if I just run the script and finish and here's the new file that I just just got generated now if <clears throat> now if you open the file and if you grab an app so I use an uh, app called QR scanner and if you scan the uh, this uh, QR code right here right in the middle and on your phone it should display a uh, hello world and that's it but that's just a simple way to uh, generate a QR code but if you want to have a little more control then we can use a, a class called QR code class within the QR code module and to uh, provide different type of spec like the QR code size the border uh, width and the error correction like how closely do you want the script to uh, air correct the QR code when, when something goes wrong and so on. And here I'm going to come out these two lines and we're going to do the right way basically. So here I'm going to create uh, another QR variable and from the QR code module and we're going to take the 
uh, QR code class should be a uh, capital QR like that okay the first parameter is the version parameter the version parameter basically uh, control the QR code size from 1 to 40 the smaller the number is uh, the smaller the QR code size will be so here I'm going to type 1 which is the smallest size the next parameter is the error correction uh, parameter the error correction parameter controls the error correction used for the QR code so here let me grab the, um, the documentation real quick so here from the uh, from the QR code module there's a constants uh, module that contains these four constant uh, items we have the error correct uh, underscore L that's when 7% or less error can be correct and I'm not exactly sure what uh, each of those percentage uh, means since I'm not expert in the QR code but I know um, from the module they use uh, error correct uh, M which is the default and that's for that accounts for uh, about 15% or less errors can be correct so for now just take uh, everything as face value or if someone knows what those percentage means and please post in the comment section below and let me uh, move this away and here from the QR code module there's a constants module and if you want you don't even need to uh, provide any value to this parameter so you can uh, just delete this and use the default and I'm actually going to leave out that parameter for this exercise and the next parameter is called box size and the box size basically control the QR code uh, dimension size and I'm going to set this to 15 and the borders determines how thick you want the borders to be so I'm going to use 5 and 5 is the default by the way and if you want to make the border a little bit thicker so you can use something like a 9 or 10 and that's and that's it so that variable controls the spec of the QR code now we need to create a data variable to store the data so here I'm going to uh, let's do my channel link So, for example, if someone scanned the QR code, I want someone to uh, go to my YouTube channel link and click on the link and maybe to see you know, if any video will be helpful. And now we have the data, so we can take the QR variable and there's a method called add data and here we need to provide the data. And next is the make. Inside the make method, there's a parameter called fit. The fit parameter basically uh, controls if you want to automatically adjust the QR code dimension size and if you want to auto expand or uh, de-expand the QR code dimension then you want to set the value to 2 otherwise if you want to uh, set the dimension to static and you want to set the fit to false so I'm going to set that to 2 and lastly we need to create our image variable so here uh, from the QR uh, variable and I'm going to use the make image method and here there are two parameters so the first one is fill parameter and that's basically what color do you want to fill all the empty space and I'm going to use default uh, black and for the back color that's just mean the background color and I'm going to use white in general, black and white are the most, are pretty much the most commonly uh, colors that people use to generate QR code. And if you want, you can also change to different colors like red, pink, green, or yellow. And here, lastly, I'm going to uh, save the image. So here, I'm going to call this uh, uh, YouTube channel QR code PNG. Now if I save the script and run it and here's the QR code that generated and here if you uh, scan this QR code right here on your monitor or on your phone 
it should display my YouTube channel link. So this is everything I have to share with you guys in this video. Just a very simple script to generate QR code uh, using Python. And I'll post the link to access the Python script that I use in this video in the description below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.